Greetings, this is from Propensual H, otherwise known as Fallon, and this is Fallon Watches. In front of me, I have a little movie that I've never seen before called The Thing. And no, not this thing, and not this thing. Both brilliant movies. Incidentally, John Cop is just a thing? That's how you do a reimagining. It's nothing like this movie. They're both great, but nothing like this movie. Um. It, it, the, I think I can only remember, I haven't watched this for a few years, I can only remember one similarity, and that's the fact that where they are. Uh, I forget exactly where it is, I think it's the Antarctic, but there's a lot of places in the world with snow, so <laughs> I, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, John Cobb is just a thing. One of the best horrors ever made, one of the best movies ever made. One of the best examples of why practical effects and good direction is always better and will always outlive and outlast CGI. So what is the movie I'm gonna watch if it's not Thing 1 or Thing 2? And they're not sequels, I just cat in the hat. Um, well, this is 2011's the Thing. Now, it's supposed to be a prequel. Why the fuck do you call it The Thing, then? If it's a prequel and it takes place, but basically, uh, the setting's supposed to be the... the if you've seen the, the John Carpenter's movie, bef the base that gets attacked and the dog comes running from, um, yeah. That is this movie. That is, that is this base. Okay. Um, so that's where it's supposed to be. That's how much I know about it. I also know that it's CGI, which is an instant fuck you. I know that it shares the same name, it's just called The Thing. So it's like, great, you're made a prequel. Okay, why call it the exact same fucking name as the original? What? Oh, that's why, because people, you want people to see it on purely on the base that, oh look, it's a remake. You don't, you don't want people to see it that it's a prequel. You want people to think it's a fucking remake. As you can probably tell, that is one of my favorite... Uh, John Cobb is just a thing is one of my favorite movies of all time. And this is a prequel slash remake of the original with CGI. And I've not watched it, but from what I know, it uses CGI and they completely misunderstand what was scary about the thing. They think the reason why the thing was scary was because it, it's a weird thing that goes in all different shapes and shapes. No, it's scary because you don't know who the fuck it is. You don't know where the fuck it is and when it'll strike. It's scary because it spawns paranoia. It's not scary because it goes blah, 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 blah. and supposedly that's what this does. It just goes blah, 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 and attacks everyone. So it's basically the thing as done by time splitters. So yeah, um, as you can tell, I'm not going in this with a positive mindset. So let's get this started, shall we? Maybe I'll like it. Probably won't. By the way, the um, left side of my speakers have w a busted, so I have to play everything through the right side uh, for the right speaker. So it may sound a bit weird uh, if the camera is on the right of the laptop. So hopefully, um, it'll be okay, and it'll sound okay. But um, here we go. Unfortunately, you probably won't be able to hear this because it's really low. <laughs> um, but. Okay, bunch of Germans driving along, then they, then the ground underneath them opens up, they fall into this snowy crevice, and all the ice falls everywhere, and it's, oh, it's big modern movie in action. And then they're like, oh shit, and they look in the distance, and for some strange reason you can see this, because... There's not really much light down here, except the light coming down above and the light from their vehicle that's stuck in like a crevice here. And they somehow see this alien spaceship. And then it cuts. Um, and we're in a lab, right? <laughs> and for some strange reason, the Germans have come to this American woman. They're like, hey, 
you've done um, excavations before in snowy areas, right? We want you to excavate the uh, excavate this. I'm like, wouldn't you keep this in country? Like, realistically, if somebody found something like this, they'd keep it in fucking country. They wouldn't. You know, I can't imagine if this was ever to happen. The Germans would just trottle over to America and go, Hey, American science lady, could you help us out here? Because there are no American science ladies in German. We need your help. Uh, so, there are no American science ladies in Germany. We need your help. Like... What? I don't know why, but something tells me that she's the main character that's gonna live. I think it's because she's American and the rest are Germans. I'm assuming. But something tells me the American woman's gonna be the one to survive. Don't know why. Just a hunch. So far, I don't give a damn about any one of these characters. It's 12 minutes in, and I don't give a shit about any of these characters. Already, it's losing. <laughs> She's looking up at the stars, and I'm like, I'll never look at them the same again. I can't remember that I've heard that a million times before, but it feels... Like I've seen that scene a million times before. I'll never look at the stars the same way again. They're stars! Why wouldn't you look at them the same way again? It's not... They're stars! I doubt where this that I doubt the li a life form has come from a s I doubt that this life form has come from a star. Nineteen minutes in, I was already really fucking invested in in, in uh, John Carpenter's the thing. I still don't give a fucking damn about any of these characters. I don't know anything about these fucking characters. The only thing I know a, a little bit about is the female, the main character, who is probably gonna be the one to live the longest. Because they're setting her up as the main character. Because this is the only one that's getting any screen time. There's no gritting teeth at all. There's no, oh shit, what's gonna happen? Fuck, I know what's gonna happen. They're all gonna die. And the dog's gonna run away. Oh, they're all gonna die except one driving the plane. And the rest are gonna fucking die. Come to think of it, the woman can't be the last to live because it was a guy chasing after the dog at the scene of John Garbus as the thing. So okay, it's not gonna be the woman. Although she probably will survive. I don't know why, it just something tells me that she's gonna last a long time. Okay. So um the thing was the the the, the, the thing was in a block of ice, the body. Whilst they were talking in a room, the yang started bleeding, which if you know anything about the thing, the thing is not and a creature, but multiple creatures, where every single cell is an independent creature that will fight for its own survival. Um, they're all singing in a room, except one guy who was left to go outside to get some booze, um, and one guy who is just now going to the panels. Now, this is going to be the test to see how this... How, how do how do this, these people how well do these people know the thing? Because if they die on screen, if they get taken over and copied on screen, they've ruined it. If it happens off screen, great. There's some hope. So, black guy is walking down the stairs. I don't know his name. He's looking at the block of ice. Is the black guy gonna die first? He's wiping the ice, all I can really make out is the, the claw. I'm trying to make it out. A jump scare, really? Did you see my complete non-reaction to that? He goes, whoa, and there was a guy standing behind him. Cat! Like. I hate jump scares. 
<sighs> what the fuck? Oh, there's no hope for this. Okay. What's just happened is the guy is turning around to go up the stairs, and as he's leaving, like, as he's starting to go up the stairs, the creature just leaps out of the ice with a rah! and bursts through the ceiling. Fuck! I'm done! I'm fucking. This is not the thing! <laughs> It just leaps out the fucking ice! How it did how it did that, I have no fucking idea. If it did that, why didn't it do that when it was in the the, the uh, when it was outside and they were all around? I don't fucking know. It just leaps out of the fucking ice! What it just leaps out of the fucking ice! Goes rah, and goes for the fucking ceiling! This is the thing! A creature that takes over other people stealthily. The thing is terrifying because it causes paranoia in all the cast, well, all the characters and the viewer. Nobody knows who the fuck it is until it's too late. And even at the end, it's fucking questionable. You know? <laughs> and what the first thing it does is to burst out of the fucking ice and scream! Oh, this is gonna be so fucking awful. <sighs> At least I know it was justified for hating on it before it really began. The idea of this creature getting loose is not terrifying, because it, it works like a fucking werewolf. It makes a noise and jumps. Like, from what we've seen of it. Oh, and there's a lot of blood somewhere. It killed someone. A lot of blood somewhere. Um, again, there's just been a scene where the, s someone is dead and there's a lot of blood. The thing cleans up its mess. That's part of what makes it so fucking terrifying. The, the thing ingests people, takes life forms over, dogs, humans, whatever, takes life forms over and just infests it, infests it like a parasite, just completely friggin' takes it over, and then the thing becomes that thing it was taking over. The only thing is that's left are cloves. The only thing that's left are cloves. Okay. They've just emulated the scene from the first one where they catch it, um, taking over a dog in mid-transformation. Right? And it turns into this big mouth thing with a lot of tentacles, shoots out, grabs a guy, like, sticks it through his chest, which then opens like this, comes back, and pulls him. Now, the thing did attack in the original thing when it was transforming into a dog, but what it was doing, it was attacking in the same way... Um, it wasn't necessarily attacking, it was making threats. It was roaring, it was going... <laughs> and, like, tentacles were flying everywhere. <laughs> That's what it was doing. It was roaring. It was saying, if you come close, you attack me, I'm gonna fuck you up. That's what it did. Fuck, man. Not this. This is 2011. That's too boring for modern audiences. Action! <laughs> Harpoon the guy. <laughs> Clip him. <laughs> Pull him back. Eat him. I fucking hate this movie already. The idea that the f was that the thing was vulnerable when it was transforming. It just sucked the guy in and eat and ate him, and now he's screaming. Well, the other guy's screaming. The thing would take somebody over or take a life form over when it was sure, fucking sure. That nobody would um, would find it doing so. In fact, it was only caught halfway through the act once, 
during the dog scene. And that was only because dogs were barking and barking and barking whilst it was taking one of them over. It was like, they were like, rrr, 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 oh, sh like oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, and the humans came and helped them out. Um, that's pretty much the only reason. Um, the only time it would ever attack, like actually attack, was when it was found out. And it knowed, it knows it was fucking found out. And it would wait. It would fucking wait. It would wait until somebody got close, like really fucking close, and then it would snatch at it. Or bite it, like turning its head into a fucking pair of teeth. Um, it wouldn't just harpoon someone and bring them in. You know, the only time it would ever attack out in the open where everyone could see was when it had no other choice. Alright? And that scene you just emulated, in the original, it didn't fucking attack because no one got close to it. It stayed back and hissed. Swat, like flicking its tentacles. It couldn't attack. It was in the middle of transforming. It was too fucked up to do anything. Um. Not in this one. Pff, fucking tongue harpoon. <sighs> They've already just completely fucking. This is not the thing. This is a monster movie. This is your typical fucking creature goes on a killing spree monster movie. The thing was intelligent. fuck is even going on? The Thing was intelligent. This is not The Thing. This is just called The Thing. This is your typical monster goes on a fucking killing spree movie. It's turned into this giant fucking monster and is attacking them with fucking giant praying mantis like claws for a fucking wood, uh, wooden door. And now they're setting it on fire with gasoline. This is the start of the fucking movie and it's already blown its load! This creature is not frightening because it's a fucking moron! If I remember correctly, the thing with another world was nothing like John Carpenter's thing. It was a plant creature. Like a carnivorous plant creature in the shape of a human being with a big head. Seriously. Um... It seems like they're going for that right now. Which was a, a big monster kill people movie. Um, it was fun. It was good, but that's because it was an old fucking black and white movie, and a lot of them were like that back then. It's good because it has that old movie charm. I don't think a movie like that would really work by today's uh, in today's day and age because we expect more. And John Carpenter's The Thing was that more. It took some ideas from the original and made it a million times better. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Basically, what this thing does, as opposed to being kind of a, a mass that slowly puts things together, is it's an insect. Okay, this big alien insect that absorbs people, as in puts, eats them, puts them into them, and then it has this sack where it starts to... Um, it has this sack inside of it where it starts to um, duplicate the human. Okay, that's different, but then what happens? It's not necessarily making itself into the duplicate, it's making the duplicate inside of it. So what, does it like give birth to the, the, the duplicate and then dies? But that doesn't work, because the thing in the thing, every little blood cell, every cell in the thing's body, is a, it's an own unique creature that will fight for its own survival. So that doesn't work. So what happens to the insect carcass? Is this how it reproduces? The insect thing makes a duplicate of some other life form inside of it, births that new life form, and then goes on about and kills another life form. Okay, what happens to the human duplicate? Can that reproduce in the same way? What reproduces the bug creature? You know, what births the bug creature? Can the human-shaped creature reproduce in the same way? If it can't, then all you need to do is kill the bug creature and you've killed the, the reproductive aspect of it. 
The thing was simple in that it was a thing that turned into other things. It absorbed other things into itself and then turned in and became the thing it absorbed. Made itself become that thing. This doesn't quite work because there's too many. Th the the original thing cleans up its own mess. This one doesn't. It's a bug. Hm. That's pretty cool. It imitated the titani titanium plate inside the guy's body. That's cool. Okay, so they're looking at cells that are still alive, taking over other cells. Now, what a sane person would do would be to run to people and tell them that the carcass is still a living thing because the cells are still alive. Are they going to do that? All right, she's she's casually walking somewhere. Is she going to tell people that this thing is still alive, or pro possibly at least still alive? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently, that information is not going to be shared with other people. She's looking. She's in the bathroom. She's looking on the ground, and she can see four little blobs of blood. I think they're teeth on the ground. Again, if the thing has taken someone over, every single one of the, the every single bits of blood there would be the thing. And they would not be out in the open like that. Every one of those, every bits of teeth or whatever they are, droplets of blood, on the handkerchief she has in front of her would be the thing and would attack her or run away. I believe that this is something they're failing to understand. The thing absorbs everything. That's why it's so efficient. It cleans up its own mess. And now she's opened the curtains and there's fucking blood everywhere. In the shower. Uh, why? It's not like the purse is the is a human being washing blood off them? Would the thing do that? Would the thing wash bl another human being's blood off them? They probably wouldn't need to because they would just become that person. Oh god, this movie is so stupid. It knows nothing of the original. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I'm assuming is it means someone is being taken over by the thing. I have no fucking idea who, though. Again, I have no fucking... I don't care about any of these people or can really tell them apart beyond their gender or skin color. And that guy's acting off. So obviously, he's the thing. He's acting off. Again. The thing doesn't do that. It makes a perfect representation. And now he's acting off! Okay, it was wrong, it wasn't that guy, it was the other guy. It doesn't matter anyway, because... See, in the original movie, the thing wouldn't have attacked. Why? Okay, okay, okay. They're on a plane. They're on a helicopter. There's one guy that's being taken somewhere. I, f I don't know whether to get mental attention or something, but I, I don't know. He's being taken. Again, I don't know. Uh, he's being taken. He's, he's going somewhere. There's two guys in the front of the plane driving. There's one guy next to this guy that's being taken somewhere. Okay. This guy's acting irrationally. I thought he was the thing. Right? Now, in the original movie, that would be something if they ever did. That would be something they play with. They'd be saying, he's acting irrationally. Not because he's the thing, but because he's fucking terrified. And that's what worked about the thing. It didn't just make the characters paranoid. It made you, the viewer, paranoid. You didn't fucking know. I was wrong. That guy wasn't the thing. He's just a regular person. But then... Me being wrong, I knew I was wrong then. Because the guy next to him 
for some fucking reason, immediately turned into the creature and attacked him, and now the plane is crashing. Why? Again, the thing waits until the last moment where he it knows it's being caught out. It knows it's being found out. Right? Now, the woman realized some fucking reason, because there was blood there for some fucking reason, that one of them had been, been taken over. She knew that. So she ran out, she started waving, like, land, 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 she waved to the helicopter. They hear it. They're about to land first. And as they're about to land, the thing fucking attacks! It wouldn't do that! It would wait until it was actually found out. Until everyone... Because, fuck, she just knows that someone has been possessed, uh, being taken over. She doesn't know who, she just knows someone. Chances are, she'd be, she'd be blaming the guy acting irrationally, not the other one. So it would be fine. The thing in the original movie would have waited and let someone else take the blame and then go about its business. But oh no, this is a modern fucking movie and a remake. Uh, not a remake, a, uh, it's a, uh, prequel? Fuck off. Then why is it called The, the Thing? It's not a prequel if it shares the same name as the original. It it just attacks. It goes Bleh! and everything just comes out like this. Is he opens his chest and tentacles jump out? Why would it do that? This is so fucking stupid. It's a stupid monster movie. That's what it is. It's a stupid monster movie where a creature goes on a rampage. It's not the thing. At all. It is the thing in name only. <sighs> Fuck this movie. My head hurts. And now the plane is crashing. Why the fuck would it do that? Now if they get there and every anybody is alive, they're all under suspicion. She's just gone back in the shower room and that blood is gone. Don't know how. I don't know whether it moved itself or it was cleaned up, but it's gone. Okay, so now, now that other people are dead, is she telling them that the sample of blood she took contains alien cells that are still alive from the creature that was dead? Meaning, the creature probably still has some life in it. Or at least something that needs to be properly contained. And she's only now sharing that information. <laughs> Ah! That seems like something that would be pretty fucking important to say, don't you think? <laughs> okay. This thing has apparently replicated someone. Now, in the original, there were many scenes before that they were before they were what was going on, where the thing was alone with other people. Or people that were possibly the thing were alone with other people who were possibly the thing. So the fact is that everybody at some point could have become infected, could have become the thing. Not necessarily infected, but could have, could have been the thing. Now, in this one, I have to ask, how? <clears throat> How was someone infected? When from the very start, it burst out the ice and went on a killing spree. To the point where anybody that got close to it died. And was absorbed or halfway absorbed before it died. Now, 
Maybe I was right. Maybe part of it got away when we thought it was dead. But because it blew its load so quickly, because it went on this big killing spree right away, and it then it was killed, supposedly, I have to ask, how? When the fuck did it get a chance to infect someone? How? Okay, so the teeth she picked up were fillings, alright? Okay, it couldn't replicate, it couldn't replicate, it can't replicate clothing. Apparently in this game, apparently in this movie it can replicate, um, they can replicate metal uh, things that help keep bones together. I forget, metal plates to help keep bones together or metal, you know. Apparently it can replicate them, but it can't replicate fillings. I don't know why, but there we go. And in the original, it couldn't replicate clothing. So, okay, I get that. But I have a question. Okay, it couldn't replicate fillings. Okay, I buy that. WHY THE FUCK DID THEY JUST LEAVE IT ON THE FLOOR?! <laughs> okay! It can't replicate fucking fillings! In the original, it couldn't replicate cloves! So what it usually did was wear them when it transformed into the other person, and if any, if any were destroyed, it would hide them! It would... Does it? Does, there was a scene where it, it ruined a pair of underpants, so it hid them. Why the fuck would it just leave bloody fillings on the floor? Why wouldn't it try to hide them, clean up? I mean, again, bloody fillings. The thing absorbs every single bit of that blood would have been the thing which it would absorb into itself. Every single bit of that blood around the fillings would have been the thing. Every bit of blood in the shower would have been the thing. Why didn't it absorb that to clean up its mess, pick up the fillings and hide them somewhere, throw them away where no one would find them? Oh, that's why, because then the writers would have had to fucking try, as opposed to leaving them on the fucking floor. <sighs> Again, the original thing was intelligent. It was fucking smart. It was an apex fucking predator. This one is a big bug that goes on a killing spree whenever someone whispers. Whenever someone go, when, whenever the fuck it feels like it, where it leaves evidence of its of its doings on the fucking floor for all to see. <sighs> fuck this movie. Apparently, someone had cleaned up the blood. Okay, why didn't it do it before? Because you couldn't argue, you, you can't argue that, you can't argue that it, it was startled. Like, okay, the blood for some fucking reason, and the fillings for some fucking reason were still there. Fuck the blood, but you could argue that, okay, the fillings were still there, if it was startled. You could argue, fucking dog, you could argue that the fillings would still be there, you know, if it was startled and had to move in a hurry. Okay, but if anyone came in the bathroom, they would have saw the blood and suspected something. Alright. If you have to leave the room in a hurry, it doesn't take fucking long to bend over and pick up a few fillings and maybe put them in your pocket or throw them away. There's absolutely no fucking excuse why that would have still been there. No fucking excuse. Somebody cleaned it up. Why the fuck didn't they clean it up before? Oh, that's right, plot convenience. So the writing is easier. She's just told people what's going on. Nobody fucking believes her. Why? She's told them that she found evidence that it had duplicated... <coughs> she found evidence that it had duplicated the person. Alright. Okay. Alright. This is after... They had dissected the body and found part of a replicated person inside, so they know it can do it. Why do they think she's crazy? Why would she be lying about this? 
They just walk out and say she's lost it, after they've witnessed themselves that this thing is fucking dangerous, can transform, and can, can uh, duplicate people inside of it. Why would they not believe her? Probably so they don't band together quickly enough to get this thing sorted, so um, the movie can go a little bit longer and they can't just end it right away. Again, easy writing, plot convenience. Okay, so the other woman, after they've all left, and say, oh, she's crazy. We've witnessed this, but she's crazy. The other woman has just come up to her and said, uh, yeah, you know about that guy? Uh, you know about you seeing blood everywhere and it being cleaned up? Yeah, I saw a guy doing that before. You saw a guy clean up blood, and you didn't think to tell anyone. Or you didn't think to go up and ask him why. It's blood. This isn't spilt wine. This isn't a piece of cake that's gone on the carpet. This is... this is blood. A little... this is not... oh, he's cutting up blood. la dee da dee da nothing to worry about there. It's fucking blood! You would have maybe told someone! And why didn't you- why didn't she bring this up before? When everyone was- was- everyone was calling her crazy! Why didn't she bring it up before? So again, we know who the thing is! Unless, of course, it's her. In this point, it can be two people. It's either the British guy, she's just... I've recently found out he's British because he talked. It was either the British guy, because she said it was him, or it's her, because she's accusing him, could be her. Okay? Either way, we know it's one of these two people. Suspense gone. No suspense. It's one of them. We'll probably find out soon enough. Yep. The one who said it was the guy. The woman who said, oh, it's that guy. I was right. She's the thing. So she follows her into the closet to get something. I forget what it was. And then she slowly starts to turn and make a zombie noise. Like, uh, as her body begins to turn. Okay. Giving our main protagonist enough time to turn around, see what's going on, slowly turn around, realize that this this leech thing pouncing at her, and then run away. All right. Our protagonist is getting attacked by the lady that I said probably is either her or the guy she's accusing. It is her. She does it very, very slowly and makes zombie noises so our main protagonist can get away. When before, we see it attack the guy in the plane, and it goes, yeah, and shoots right at him. But because that's just the side character and not our protagonist, we can afford to kill him. But this is our protagonist. She has to be warned. The thing, just, the thing couldn't just go, yeah, and shoot at her. Because she's our main protagonist. She can't die. At least not right now. So it has to do it really slowly to give her enough time to react and get away. So. She runs out of the room. Screaming, RUN! To the guy she, uh, this guy she sees. He's like, huh? Slowly turns around and then gets impaled by this big mouth with lots of tentacles coming from it. Coming from a torso. He gets impaled by something from that. Um, because, you know, he's not our main protagonist, it's okay if he dies, and she runs away. Yep, that's what we're doing. He has a flamethrower. Now, in the original movie, there was a reason why they said, okay, we've got a flamethrower. And there's a bit in the movie where, like, he's gonna get the flamethrower, and the reaction is, he's gonna get the what? That's his reaction. It's like, he's gonna get the what? Because that's what you'd say if, you go, if someone said, yeah, he's gonna get the flamethrower. You'd go, he's gonna get the what? You'd be shocked. This guy, just in this movie, 
runs up with a flamethrower. Now, the, in the original movie, the excuse was they use it to warm up the pipes. I don't think that actually works, but it's you can buy it. In this movie, the guy just runs up with a flamethrower, and they're like, Oh, hey, Bob. Hey, guys. Flamethrower. No, wait, they stare at her a bit. Like, he's just come over a flamethrower. They don't give a shit. They're like, oh, yeah, that's this, 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 that guy with a flamethrower. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That looks like an original Xbox cutscene. Oh, the CGI is so bad when it's not constantly moving and it lingers. And then they set it on fire. I just realized. I just realized. I know what this... No, 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 no. This isn't based off this movie. It's based on the game based on this movie. It all makes sense now. You know, bunch of idiots that you don't give a shit about. Um, fucking creatures that just attack and go Bleh! for no reason. Because you know, it wouldn't be fun in a game if 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 you know every, everyone just stood around being paranoid. Although that probably would be a fun game, but you know, it wouldn't be fun in the game. So in the game, they're constantly being attacked by creatures and going Bleh! You know, your 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 part, your AI companions are a bunch of fucking morons. They're not cop. I get it. I get it. They're not copying the game. Sorry, they're not copying the movie. They're copying the game. That they're copying a PlayStation One game. That's why the CGI looks like complete fucking bullshit ass. That's why everyone's a fucking idiot. That's why the writing is dumb as all bullshit. Because it's a video game story. Oh, it makes sense though. It's a video game story from the PlayStation era. That's why everything is bloody shit. Oh well, at least not to the standards of that movie at least. It all makes sense now. I'm gonna watch this as if I was watching a, sh a shit long cutscene on a video game. You know, it's oddly kind of cool. <laughs> oh my god, it ran into a room and started using water to try and put itself out. And now it's being set on fire again with a flamethrower. Again, the flamethrower just comes out of nowhere. And there's no reaction to it. So yeah, there is another character. I don't know the name of. There's another character dead who, where I don't know the name. Um, I don't care about. Mm, yeah, there's another character dead. And now they're outside setting the cops on fire. Yep. You know what's oddly entertaining now that I'm looking at it as if it's a video game? Because, you know, video game plots um, don't have to be good. That's why The Last of Us was so freaking popular. Because The Last of Us storyline was like every zombie movie ever. Well, because it's a video game and people don't have high expectations for video games, they're like, oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever. Wasn't really. So yeah. Now that I'm looking at it as if I'm playing a video game, in fact, it's on my laptop, I've got my mouse here, I've got my keyboard, yeah. You just pretend it's a video game. No, no, I'm pretending it's a video game cutscene. It's totally entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Sarcasm aside, fuck this movie. The thing about the first movie was that you never know who... You never knew who was infected. Because pretty much everybody could have been infected. Every single character, well, I keep saying infected, pretty much every single one of, uh, every single character could have been the thing. Every single character could have been the thing. Um, well, obviously not they're all the thing because, not all the thing at the same time because then it would just like be like, hey, party. But obviously every single character could be a thing, right? Because the story made, the way it was done, it, it left it so every single character could be the thing and you had no idea who. The characters didn't know who. 
In this story, I'm trying to figure out how they could be the thing. Not who's the thing, but how the fuck could they be the thing? Because it just happens, and you don't really know. It just, oh, they're the thing. We don't know how it happened, but they're the thing. Also, I don't know the names of any of these characters. I don't know anything about these characters except the fact that they're characters. You know, I know the names of the original characters. I know the fact that they all had the personalities. They all had the little quirks. They're not, you know, you can't write a freaking novel on every one of the characters individually, but you knew them. They stood out, every one of them. This not so much. I don't know any of these characters. I just know what they look like. Two people are running up to them. Wait a fucking minute! Okay, so remember that crash, hel the helicopter crash before? Apparently, they didn't check to see if anyone was alive! <laughs> they didn't check if anyone was alive! No! Why? Because the two pilots have just come running up in the in the storm, holding each other for warmth, slowly running across the storm to get to the cabin. Meaning, they didn't fucking check the crash! Isn't that what you do when there's a crash? You go to it to see if people are alive? If anyone can be saved? Apparently not! They just make oh fuck it, they're all dead. Never mind, tra la 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 Fuck! Remember me saying they could be the thing? How? You know, that, that's the thing, like how uh, who's who's gonna be well not who is, but how is anyone the thing? Well, thanks to plot convenience, we've just found out how. Because the people they neglected, because that plane crashed before that they neglected to see if anyone was fucking alive, turns out the pilots fucking survived. One of them could be the thing. They both could be the thing. So it's just a matter of thinking, okay, how much alone time do these guys have with other people? Here we go, mystery solved. How is the thing gonna come back? Shitty writing! That's how... Da, 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 da. Oh yeah! So, okay. I'm starting to get used to the characters. There's Black Guy. There's Over Pilot Guy that's with Black Guy. There's Guy with Flamethrower. There's Woman slash main character. There's Beard Guy. There's Guy that looks like a surfer. And there is British Guy. So, at least I'm starting to know the characters now. Okay, so they're doing a different take on the whole fa on the famous blood test scene. So far, uh, she asks the main character asks um, one of the guys, guy with flamethrower, to open up his mouth. Guy with flamethrower does. She shines a light in it and she says, "Okay, guy with flamethrower has feelings, and because the thing can't use feelings as established before by the shitty writing, um, then that guy, uh, guy with flamethrower can't be a thing." All right. So how is she going to figure out who else isn't a thing? Is she going to shine her light in everyone's mouth and say, Okay, you don't have feelings. Oh, let's see what happens. Ooh, this is exciting. <laughs> Darker skinned guy with beard is safe. Guy with big beard also has feelings, so he's safe. This is so silly. I like it. I was like, Kate, please. Kate, apparently, oh, her name's Kate. I know it now. Okay, I'm still going to call her protagonist. I'm going to forget it in a minute of seconds. He's like, because in the other one, um, they cut their hands to get samples of blood. And I could understand why people wouldn't want to do that. Because it fucking hurts. All they're doing in this is shining a light in your mouth. You may be like me and have not very great teeth, but... It's better than getting cut. I don't understand why in this situation you would battle against this idea. You're like, okay, ha, ah, here's my teeth. And he's like, please don't do this. Kate, please. And I'm like, all she's doing is shining a light in your fucking mouth. What's the big deal? Surfer Dude doesn't have feelings. So Surfer Dude could be the thing. 
So that's like the first time in his entire movie that the thing's been stealthy. Well, it's happened. There was a guy that was fainted. Um, I believe it was White Beard guy. So, or he was in an explosion. He, he, they're carrying him in a room. And as they're carrying him in a room, his arm splits off and becomes the thing. And there's this, like, hand with the thing with the usual tentacles running up the guy's arm. Um, and it's Big Beard Guy. So, it looks like, yep. Yeah, Big Beard Guy is now being attacked by something which is essentially a face hugger. That's the first time in the entire movie that the thing has acted like the thing. It's being stealthy as shit. Again, though. He's just being carried in the room. That's all that's going on. He's not being found out. He's just being carried in the room. There was absolutely no reason for it to attack. But at least this time when it attacked, it wasn't, you know, a big chest burst and explosion. Although, it, now that I think about it, no, it wasn't being stealthy because it didn't need to attack. It was perfectly safe. Now what's going on is... The body is sprung like a, a whip tentacle that is flying around trying to hit people. And now Surfer Dude is dead because he's just being impaled by the whip. So even if he doesn't die, he's becoming the thing. Because that's how it works. Supposed to work, anyway. There's just this dead body like with a whip coming a whip tentacle coming out of it and now black pilot dude has been penetrated with the whip thing so now he's dead and if he's not dead he's the thing i like how the entire building is on fire with barrel drums down there that could contain something that i'm sh assuming is explosive and they're just walking about casually while the entire building is on fire just Casually walking around. Tie buildings on fire. Just casually strolling. I just realized something. We've hit a problem. Now, the original movie um, ended where there was this... Um, I think it was German or Norwegian. I can't remember which one it was. But there was, there was that guy in a, in a helicopter chasing after a dog. All right? That dog's the thing. That's, that's the movie. That's the, that's the original movie. That's where it begins. Um, that's, the, the guy was supposed to be from this, this is a prequel, so this is, this is basically events of what happened in that original camp before this crazy guy just start in a, in a helicopter chases after a dog, alright? That's how the original movie, that's how the original movie begins. So it stands to reason that this has to end with a guy left and a dog left, and that guy cannot be American or British. He has to be Norwegian or German or whatever the hell they are. The people that are left, from what I can tell, are two Americans, uh, the pilot dude, the main protagonist, and that British dude. They killed the dogs off right at the start. Meaning, it already fails as a prequel, and it is, it is a remake, not a prequel. Because it doesn't, it won't end. It can't end where the first one begins. It can't. Because they've killed off all the characters that could do that. So it is a remake. You can't get away with calling it a prequel. It is a remake. She was just hit, she was just back clawed by the thing, but she didn't get infected. Because what the thing would do for anyone else is impale them, or oh wait, that's the British guy. What the thing would do for anyone else would be to impale them. But this is the main protagonist, so he, so it backhands her, so she doesn't get infected. And now he's slowly creeping towards her because she's the main protagonist. She has to get away. Oh, now that she's got away, it's coming after her. I see. So now that she's found a way to get away, now it's speeding up and chasing after her because she's got away. <sighs> T 
Tentacles are coming. She's in. She's she's trapped. Tentacles are coming. They're not actually coming towards her. They're just wiggling about a lot to, to save time so she can find a way out. And now she sees a spray can. Now, if this was anyone else, she would be impaled by now. Anyone else who wasn't the main protagonist, she would have been impaled by now. It's randomly gone away. It just, it just went, it, wait, wait, she's in the corner. The thing comes in, it's like, blah, 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 blah. and she's like, ah, it's like blah, 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 blah. and then it pisses off. Why? Oh, that's why, because she's the main character and has plot immunity. Why did it just go, blah, 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 in front of her? Why didn't it impale her like it would anybody else? Why, whenever it attacks her, it just moves really slowly towards her, giving her time to freaking get away? Oh, that's right, because she's the main character. She has plot immunity. I don't know what that spray can is she's looking at. Why is it just leaving her alone? Are they just preparing a jump scare? Yep, they're just preparing a jump scare. Jesus fucking Christ. This is an awful, awful... Oh, and now it's grabbing her. Why would it grab her when it can just... Why is... Why is it grabbed her and is now pulling it away? Pulling her away when it, it could grab... Okay. Oh, for fuck! Yeah! Okay. It grabs her pulls her away, like a normal human being, grabs her by the leg, pulls her away. There's a little thing on top of her that it could use to impale her, but it doesn't. Then what it does is it lets go of her and goes, yeah! Instead of attacking her, it lets go of her, goes, yeah! And then slowly moves towards her again while she turns around and pulls the pin on. Oh, it's a grenade. She turns around and pulls the pin on the grenade so she can throw it into its fucking mouth. It had so many fucking opportunities to kill her. And if it was any other character, she would be dead. But no, whenever it has an opportunity to kill her, it slows down. Or just whenever it has an opportunity to impale her, like it's done so many other fucking characters, it just doesn't. Why? Because she's the main character and can't fucking die. Now the question is, here's the end now after the credits. How are they going to align it up with the actual movie? How are they going to line it up with, um... With the John Carpenter's the thing. Okay, so a guy is landed um, using a helicopter. Um, and he sees this burned corpse creature on the floor. On the ground. Okay. There's a guy that lands and he's being shot at by. Who the fuck is he? Wait, I thought he died. Okay. Okay. So it's ending. It's ending. In this place. Remember, fucking everybody died except the main protagonist, the woman, because she's the main protagonist. And now during the credits, there's this guy who I've never seen before landing on a helicopter, landing by the ground in a helicopter, then being shot at by a guy I've never seen before, and then a dog who we all thought were dead at the start jumps out the window. I don't believe it. I don't fucking believe it. They... Okay. So. They completely shit all over the, the original movie in every possible way. Completely un not understanding whatsoever what made the original so brilliant. 
And then, during the credits, they just shit out some... A connect, they just shit out an ending to connect it to the original one with a random dog that appears out of nowhere, even though they were all dead. A random guy we've never seen before, even though all the men were dead. And a random guy we've never seen before landing on a helicopter. Landing... Landing via helicopter. What the serious fuck? My head hurts. That's the credits. My head hurts. This... I have never been so pissed off by a movie. Seriously. If you've never seen it before, watch John Carpenter's The Thing. Hell, watch The Thing from Another World. The, the world. They're both brilliant movies. They really are. They are... If I ever make a top ten movie list of all time, this is... This is in place for number one. I'm serious. Okay. John Carpenter's The Thing is in place for number one. I'm serious. So you could say I'm just being a fanboy. But... That movie is brilliant. It really is. It is brilliant. And... To see this remake... And it is a remake. It's not a fucking prequel. Fuck that ending! That they just shut out their fucking ass. Because... That dog came out of fucking nowhere. That character with the gun came out of fucking nowhere. We have no idea how they got in this position. And then a guy in a helicopter randomly lands. Well, a guy in a helicopter randomly lands, gets shot by a guy we've never seen before, and then a dog that we've never seen before jumps out the window just so I can shit out a connection to the original movie. Fuck you, it's not a prequel. You know... This is this is this is if I shot some so this is if I shot a prequel to Harry Potter and then just shot out and like I, I said it was this is it's a fucking prequel to Harry Potter set in like uh set in like futuristic Tokyo right I, I'm gonna I'm gonna direct a movie I'm gonna say it's 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 a prequel to Harry Potter it's set in futuristic Tokyo and then that movie ends. And then a guy enters a time machine, goes back to present time, and then becomes Voldemort and kill Harry's perverts. Like, seriously, that's how much of a fucking stretch that ending and pulled out the arse that ending was. The CGI, of course, it was it's it's three years old, even though it's that movie's made in the fucking 80s, and the practical effects, while stated now, still up fucking good. They're, they're still a marvel to behold. They're practic completely practical effects, a marvel to behold, perfect direction, perfect use of light. This movie is just a random fucking beast that just charges out whenever the fuck it wants, goes on a random killing spree, constantly dies, make it, it, the, the thing in this movie is a mindless creature that just goes on a killing spree. It, they, they, they set up that it makes replica replications of people. Not in the same way the original one did. Which, incidentally, they just completely abolish. When the creature first comes in, it's this insect thing that absorbs people and then makes a clone inside of it. Right? Then later on, we have scenes where this fucked up Silent Hill-like creature it just goes after a dead body and just absorbs it. Then what the fuck was that at the start with the cocoon inside the body that was making a clone? They just completely abandon that idea. They just com ab abandon it. Like, everything they do is done for plot convenience. Like, it's not necessarily deus ex machina, but it's the same basic idea. Shit happens, so the shit that happens later on will work. It won't make any fucking sense that shit happens, but it, it it's shit happens because the other shit that happens later on, that's all it is. It's to connect the other shit that happens later on. It makes no fucking sense. This creature... And fuck, the thing itself, no, nah, it's no longer an incredibly intelligent, stealthy creature that takes down people silently and m makes paranoia that fucking everybody could be the thing, but we, you just don't know. Everyone's nervous of everyone, nobody fucking knows. No, 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 it's not that. This is a wild fucking monster. This creature that just charges at people, screams, goes, blah! Even when it's not 
Even though it's not in danger, it's just in close proximity, and the we need action and blood quarter is running a little short, so they just make it do something stupid to get a bit of action. Because, you know, today's modern audience can't fucking sit by and, and watch anything with a slight bit of intelligence that's uh, without, you know, having an explosion or at least some kind of loud spectacle every five fucking minutes. The creature just randomly attacks fucking anybody. All the fucking time, for no fucking reason, just because we want to see cool shit happen. That's pretty much it. This... <sighs> Fuck this movie. Fuck this movie. I know a lot of you watching this will be like, Oh, he's just an over person on the internet getting really pissed off. And he's, he's playing a character. He's getting really pissed off for no reason. No, I am... Anyone that's known me for a while know that this is me. This is a gen general person. I don't put on a fucking persona. I am generally fucking furious. Infuriated by this fucking atrocious pile of shit of a movie that shits over the original. I expected to hate it. I expected to hate it a lot. But I did not expect to get so fucking pissed off. Do not watch The Thing 2011. It is an awful fucking movie. If you've never seen the original, watch it. If you have seen the original, watch it again. In fact, I'm tempted to watch the original now just cause I, just so I can remember how great it was and just just forget how fucking... Oh, God. Hell, I watched that movie a few weeks ago with a friend who had never seen it before, and he really liked it. He understood why so many people were like, yeah, this is a great movie. <sighs> Thing 2011 is... Maybe not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's probably my it's probably a movie I hate more than any other now. It is awful. It is the Dragon Age 2 of movies. It is it just shits over the original. And so much. And doesn't understand why the original was good at all. It's just It understands nothing of the original. Absolutely nothing. Fuck this movie. And fuck the writer, and fuck the director, and fuck... Like, I, I, honestly, I can't believe... I, 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 something tells me that this was going to be an Aliens movie. Because I like Aliens, and when I go to Aliens... Like, Aliens, not Alien. Alien was different. I liked Alien, but for a different reason than I liked Aliens. But something tells me that this was going to be an Aliens movie. And they're like, eh, it wouldn't really work. Let's just make it the thing, you know? That's a popular thing that hasn't had a remake yet. <sighs> fuck this movie. This has been Frame for Punch of Witch, Fallen Hot. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got to go through the entire fucking thing now and edit it.